I think from my perspective, you know, we've got a really good story to tell here around the, the, the cost and the benefit of mod removal um, to, the, to the wine industry. And it's a story that I think uh, uh, a lot of growers are kind of keen to understand um, you know, and to quantify and to measure um, what mog actually costs. Um, and, um, you know, it enables, I guess, um, the development of technology to come along and solve for those problems. So I think it, our role here is to define, um, you know, or to, to quantify the, the, the problem a little bit better. Um, uh, and then and then really open open up pathways for, for those um, solutions to come and fix that. Uh, well, the, uh, the sorters weren't developed over probably the last seven years by Mountain Villas. Um, yeah, a lot of lot of time and effort's gone into developing what we've got today out here in the vineyards and um, yeah, couldn't be happier with the results that we're getting. Malcolm could see that uh, MOG was a, a huge problem in the wine uh, industry and working with uh, grape harvesters, he could see the amount of MOG uh, falling into the bins, he could see the holdups at the winery and that was an issue that had to be resolved and uh, the sorting systems were um, the best way to do it. We're trying to understand what's the what's the cost to the wine industry in having MOG um, come through the receival at, at a winery, and then there's the, the the cost of transporting MOG to the winery, the cost of then removing that that matter out of the, the winery as well. So there are three distinct challenges there, which we uh, we know that you know historically those things are, are a problem to um, to wine making, but trying to quantify what that is is probably the major challenge that we're faced with at the moment. And um, that again, this technology sort of enabled us to, to objectively quantify, quantify some of that. So I suppose the biggest challenge that we're facing is we've got a piece of equipment that uh, is beneficial more to the winery in the vineyard, but it's actually the guys in the vineyard that are actually working with it. So um, who covers the cost of this machine? Um, that's something that we really need to find out. We put the mog remover unit on an old harvester. Um, I sort of couldn't really justify spending big money on a new one. One, it gets the mog out of the load, keeps the winery happy, and two, makes better wine. Off the back of the uh, trial that we're doing with Wine Australia, I think once it's all been validated um, and the proof is there that the machine works and the benefits there for the, for the wine industry, uh, the investors will definitely be on board once they see those numbers. Thank you.